Squirrel hunting is a great way to learn the basics of hunting and harvesting an animal out in the wild. The most valuable skill I learned while squirrel hunting is how to listen like a hunter. There's so many sounds you hear when you're out in the woods, and to the casual hiker or normal person, they're just that, sounds in nature. But a hunter will be able to identify if it's a squirrel or a woodpecker, a deer, or even another person walking in the woods. Even the sounds of bugs and birds will let you know what time of day it is. That's about 30 yards over there. And I keep hearing the, uh, the, the gnawing on the, on the nuts. I keep walking towards, walking towards. And about 30 yards out, I took the shot. It should be right there. Let's go check it out. There it is. Can you see the tail? Gotta make sure that it's not alive, otherwise it'll bite off my finger. Yeah, he's dead. That's a gray squirrel. Look at that. <laughs> SubhanAllah. What a good head. You can read and study as much as you want about hunting, but you're really not going to learn unless you spend time in the woods. A lot of time. And you learn all of this by being still and being patient with yourself. And squirrel hunting forces you to do just that. Because squirrels are not very smart animals, they're very forgiving for beginner hunters and give many opportunities to learn stealth, stalking techniques, and how to find signs of where they've been and locate food sources. And if you get really good at hunting squirrels and enjoy the process, you'll be a much better woodsman and hunter as you pursue larger, smarter animals. I really believe that squirrel hunting is the best introduction to the art of hunting. There's also something about cooking in the wild that completes the circle for me. That Allah Azzawajal put this animal in front of me and that he made these twigs and branches fall from these trees so I could use it as a fuel for my cooking. The act of hunting, cleaning, and consuming a harvest is really a form of being thankful to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, And to do it in the woods with the rest of his creation amplifies that feeling of shukr gratitude subhanallah it's just a blessing
So much of our food today is processed, packaged, and consumed outside of its natural setting. And this disconnect is not good for us. And I believe it takes away from the barakah, the blessing of the food itself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the opportunity and courage to reconnect with His creation in a way that brings us closer to Him.